What's up everyone? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I am Adrian, and today we have an awesome feel good flow. This one is about you getting connected and really embodying strength in your core muscles. Hop into something comfy and let's get started. All right, let's begin standing today at the top edge of your mat. Take a look down at your feet, lift your toes, and then place them back on the ground just with some awareness and care. Take a second to ground through the feet and then slowly we'll begin to stand up tall. Mountain pose, draw the hands to the heart. Thank you so much for selecting this practice. Find what feels good for you today. Here we go. We're gonna inhale, drop the fingertips down to come up. Take a deep breath in as you reach for the sky here. As you exhale, keep the fingertips reaching up as you just allow the shoulders to relax. We'll take another deep breath in here. Nice wide breath. So really feel all four sides of the torso expand as you breathe in. And the shoulders soften and relax again as you breathe out. Good, this time inhale, carve a line with your nose to look up. Careful not to crunch the back of the head or the back of the neck here. And as you exhale, wiggle your fingertips. So active wiggle in the fingers as you slowly float it all the way down to a forward fold. Bend your knees here, widen your stance a little bit wider than your hips. You have a nice wide base. And we're just gonna sway a little from left to right. Relax your jaw. You can grab your elbows here if that feels good. And again, keep a nice, generous bend in your knees. Gently deepen your breath here. Feeling that great stretch in the low back, grounding through your feet. And then release the arms, inch the feet back underneath the hips <clears throat> or flush together, your choice. Toes pointing forward. And we're gonna bend the knees, send the fingertips forward. Reach the fingertips all the way up towards the sky as you breathe in, big breath, big stretch. And exhale, hands come back to the heart. Good, inhale in. And exhale out. Inhale to reach for the sky once again. Exhale, wiggle the fingertips, bend your knees, forward fold. This time, inhale, slide the hands up to the shins for a nice flat back position. So you're gonna reach the crown forward, tail back. Good, then relax everything and let it go, forward fold. From here, fingertips come to the mat. We step just the right toes back. Pivot on the back foot and inhale, reach the fingertips forward, up and back for warrior one. Plant the back edge of the foot, so really root it into the ground, really bend that front knee. Inhale in here, exhale to bring it all the way back down to the mat. Good, pivot on the back foot, and then we'll step the left foot back to meet the right for plank pose. Crown of the head reaches forward, heels actively reach back. We puff up through the upper back body, so you're, you're really lifting your Heart space between your shoulder blades, creating a doming effect there. Turn on your core. We'll bring the right knee to hug in towards the chest. And then right toes go back, left knee hugs in towards the chest. And then left knees go back, or left knee goes back, excuse me. Lower to the belly here. Inhale, we rise up cobra, nice and easy. And exhale to release, curl the toes under. Inhale in, exhale, rocket ship all the way up to plank. Quietly whisper to yourself, I am strong. Good, then send the hips up high and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, shift it forward. Squeeze the knee up into the chest. Good, inhale, lift it high. Three-legged dog. Exhale, shift it forward. Squeeze and lift your right heel up towards your glute. One more time, inhale, lift it up high. Exhale, shift it forward. Squeeze and lift. Good, this time step it all the way up. Left hand stays down and inhale, reach the right fingertips all the way up towards the sky for a twist. Take a second here, feel that nice wide breath. Good, then slowly release the right fingertips down. You're just gonna step the back foot up to meet the front forward fold. 
Again, inhale, slide the hands to the shins, find that halfway lift position, nice, long, beautiful neck. And exhale to let it go. Fingertips come to the mat. We're gonna step the left toes back this time, pivot on the left foot. Inhale, strong legs here as we rise up, warrior one. Deep breath here, pressing into the outer edge of that back foot, front knee, strong bend. Good, inhale, carve a line with the nose, look up. Exhale, slowly rain it down. Plant the palms, pivot on the back foot, and step your right toes back, plank pose. All right, squeeze the left knee up into the chest and send it back. Squeeze the right knee up into the chest and send it back. Left and right. Left and right. Okay, we're building on. Send the heels back, shift it forward, belly to cobra, or this time chaturanga to upward facing dog. Your choice. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale to soften all the way back down. Curl the toes under, inhale in. Exhale, rocket ship. Navel draws all the way up towards the sky, so the core is strong here in this plank. Inhale in deeply here. Exhale, downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift the left leg up high, three-legged dog. And exhale, shift it forward. Squeeze the knee up towards the heart. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, shift it forward. Claw through the fingertips, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, shift it forward. This time, we'll step the left foot all the way up. All right, plant the right hand down. Pull the left hip crease back, big twist here, big breath as you send your left fingertips up towards the sky. Squeeze that left knee in just a bit here. Breathe into your belly. And then slowly release. We're gonna rock the back foot up to meet the front here. Feet come together, really together. Bend the knees generously. Uh, hip creases go back, bum drops. Here we go, hips drop. We send the fingertips forward, coming into Utkatasana. Nice low chair here, so sink down nice and low. Lift your toes again. Ground through all four corners of the feet, then place the toes back down. Good, inhale in here. Exhale, continue the journey all the way up. Stand, big breath, big stretch here. And exhale, hands to heart. <sighs> Beautiful. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. We're gonna grab the right wrist with the left hand here. Think up and over. Send your right uh, toes behind you for a little curtsy. Here, we're gonna stretch the right side body. You can drop your right heel down. Big stretch to the left. And then take it back up through center and same thing on the other side. Grab the left wrist. And send the left toes behind. And big stretch here. Left side body. And then slowly back to center. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. Exhale, rain it down. Inhale, halfway lift, long neck. Exhale, soften and fold. This time, step or hop it back to plank. And we're gonna do our mindful mountain climbers here, but with a little more speed. So find a tempo that works for you today. If you wanna add a little run in here, we're gonna be here for 10, nine, you got this, eight, seven, six, five, you got it, four, three, two, and one, lower all the way to the belly. Inhale, rise up, cobra. And exhale to soften and release. <sighs> Inhale in here. Exhale, press up to plank. Inhale in again, and then send the hips up high and back as you breathe out. Downward dog. Take a moment here. Claw through the fingertips. And know that next we'll be moving to the floor for some floor work, so. Just control your breaths, try to stay present. Welcome that heat. When you're ready, slow descend of the knees down to the earth. Come to all fours. All right, inhale in here with the toes curled under. Exhale, lift the knees, let them hover. We're gonna get off the arms here in just a moment, but you're here for 10. Draw the navel up and in, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, breathe deep, four, you got this, three, two, one, lower the knees, bring the toes together, widen the knees as wide as your yoga mat and then send the hips back, melt the heart down. Child's pose, close your eyes here, just take a rest, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, lots of love in. And exhale, lots of love out. Beautiful. Carve a line with the nose, look forward, walk the knees together, really together. Come to lie on your belly. <clears throat> You're gonna interlace the fingertips, bring the elbows underneath the shoulders, curl the toes under, lift the hips up. Breathing here for forearm plank. This is for real, the last thing on your arm, so you got this for 10, nine, eight, seven, dip the right hip down, five, left hip, four, right hip, three, left hip, two, and right hip, one, left hip to even it out, beautiful, you did it. Release the bind, hands come underneath the shoulders, and you're just gonna come back through all fours, cross one ankle over the other, and come through to lie down. Center yourself on the yoga mat. Take a big full body stretch here. Reach the fingertips all the way up and back. All right, let's do a nice slow roll up here. So you're gonna inhale, navel draws towards the spine. You're gonna slowly lift the fingertips forward, reaching towards the toes, they don't have to touch. And melting the head forward. Notice my knees are bent generously. You can bend yours too. Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. And then nice and slow as you roll back, one vertebra at a time. You can point the toes to assist you here. Nice and slow. Head lands, take a breath. Exhale, lift again. All the way forward. Fold, fold. And then slowly releasing. As slow as you can go. All the way back down. Twice more. Inhale in. Exhale to lift up. Forward fold, find a little flow here. And one more time on your own. Beautiful, next time the head is down, we're gonna bend the knees, bring the feet to the yoga mat. Interlace the fingertips, bring them behind the head, elbows nice and wide. And then we're gonna lift the shins parallel to the sky, knees over the hips. But if your low back is kind of coming up here, you might hug your knees in just a little further towards the chest, protecting the lower back so you can engage the muscles of your core safely in a supportive manner. Here we go. We're gonna dip the right toes down first, then the left, and alternating right. And then the left, stay here or lift the head, the chest, the elbows stay nice and wide as you continue right, left. Breathe, nice and easy, keep the skin of the face soft. Building those transverse abdominus muscles. So hug those low ribs, knit them in. Feel that connection in the abdominal wall here. Should be no pain or strain in the low back. All right, even it out. Now we're gonna send the right leg out long as we twist. Try to think about reaching your right armpit chest towards your left knee, so really lift your chest. Good, slowly come back to center and take it to the other side. Good, now we're gonna take out the middle beat and we're just gonna go back and forth. Back and forth, breathe. Knitting those low ribs down. You're here for five. Four, three, two, and on the one, slowly release. Bring the, the feet as wide as the yoga mat. Bring the knees to fall together gently. And just take your hands to your belly. Close your eyes. Big breath in. And exhale, take a break. Beautiful, hands come to the yoga mat. We're gonna walk the feet together and then send your feet up towards the sky. If the legs straighten, great. If not, great. 
And nice and easy, we're just gonna do with pointed toes, just small circles. And as, as you do these kind of golf ball size circles to start, just notice what muscles are turning on. Engaging the low belly, keeping those front ribs knitted. You can use your hands on the earth or maybe even bring the hands to the belly to kind of feel those muscles turn on. And then we're going to slowly begin to draw bigger circles kind of coming into a straddle. So depending on how you feel here, you might go really wide, challenging your core. Or you might keep it pretty small, knees and ankles over the hips. The wider you go, the more challenging it will be. Keep breathing. And then we're gonna reverse the circle. So just go in the opposite direction. Nice and slow, feeling those muscles engage mindfully. Great, then we're gonna zip the legs up tight. You're gonna bring the toes to dip down together and then lift them up. Dip down together, touch, and lift them up. Touch, and lift them up. Knit the low ribs down, touch, and lift them up. One more, touch, and lift them up. Beautiful, hug the knees into the chest, rock a little side to side. Inhale in deeply, and exhale completely. Great, rock up to a nice seat here. You can take a couple rocks if it feels good in the spine. Then we're gonna lift the shins, send the toes out. We're gonna find a little boat pose here. You can challenge yourself by doing a low boat pose or nice and high, so your version. Knees can be bent here. You can even use your arms underneath the thighs here as you're building strength for this posture. We're here for five, breathe deep. Four, static hold, three, Two, one, release everything down. Reach the fingertips up and overhead. Full body stretch again. Inhale in deeply. Mm, smell your armpit. And exhale. Let it go. Beautiful. Knees come up one last time, but this time it's to cross the right ankle over the left. Thread the needle here. Opening up the hip, massaging the low back with a little rock, gently side to side. And then cross the right foot, just continue that, that journey of crossing the right leg over the left, maybe bumping the hips to the right side of your mat and then allowing the weight of your legs to spill to the left edge of your mat, turn onto your right ear, maybe open the arms out into a Texas T or bending at the elbow for cactus arms and breathe. And then unravel, come back to center nice and easy. Take a deep breath in and we'll take it to the other side, just crossing the left Ankle over the top of the right thigh, finding soft, easy movement here. And then releasing the right foot down, crossing the left leg over the right, bump the hips to the left. Allow the weight of your legs to draw down to the right side of your mat. And we keep the left shoulder down here as we maybe turn onto the left ear and breathe for a moment or two in the twist. And then slowly unravel, make your way back. Knees up, feet down. Last thing here, bridge pose. So we're gonna inhale, peel the tailbone up, toes pointing forward, lift the hip points high up towards the sky. Snuggle the shoulder blades underneath your heart space. Palms can stay down on the mat here. Shins forward. Lift your chest to your chin. Chin to the sky. Breathe into your belly. Feel that stretch on the inhale. And the softening as you exhale. And then slowly release it down. 
Good, you can tick tock the knees to one side and then the other, eventually extending the legs out long. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, let everything go. Taking a moment to pause and surrender. Taking a moment to just thank yourself for showing up. That's the most beautiful part. No matter what happened, you did it, you showed up. And I love you for that. Bring the palms together, thumbs up to the third eye. We'll close with a final breath here together. So I invite you to inhale one last time with me. And exhale. Nice work, my friends. Take good care. Namaste.